Good morning everyone. It's so early in the morning, I've got all the windows and doors open trying to wake myself up, but I'm not gonna complain because it's bank holiday and I'm really excited about this. Not because we have any exciting plans, but because I plan to be makeup free and barefaced for most of this bank holiday weekend. I think, well at least for two days anyway. Just and I are doing some DIY this weekend. Our flat desperately needs to be painted. It's been about I would say seven or eight years since we last did it. And I know people say you should do it every seven years. And it's starting to just look a little bit old and well-worn and a bit battered. So we thought this would be a perfect weekend to do it. We've already moved the furniture out of the way, which is why this looks very bare. But my next job is to take all the books down from the bookcase. Luckily, a few weeks ago when we got an Asda delivery, the guy was like, do you wanna keep the crate, the big things that the food comes in? And I was like, yeah, sure. Didn't really know why but actually it's going to come in really handy for all those books because the best thing I found were those two big plasticky bags I mean they are really heavy duty but I've got so many books and just loads of crap on there that it's just not going to work I'm also saying goodbye to my blue wallpaper which I'm kind of happy about but I'm also really sad about I mean look at it it's so nice it's Laura Ashley wallpaper I wanted this for the longest time I didn't know what it was called or where it was from and then one day I just found like a picture of the pattern so I put that into Google Images searched for it and it just came up with this um, and in case you're wondering the print is called Tatten and yes yeah, so I went a little bit crazy we've got this teal in the living room and in the hallway we've got pink in our spare bedroom that I used to use as my makeup studio and in the other hallway and in our bedroom we've got the black version because it's all kind of monochrome so I did really love this print but it's been eight years and I think it's time to say goodbye and I mean when you work from home um, I'm obviously at home all the time I'm here 24 7 I mean I do leave the house I do have a life but because I spend most of my life at home I have to see this all the time and I get bored so easily that I just think it's time for a change woohoo so he's found a crate and some boxes which is perfect and yeah told you all our furniture was everywhere so this is what the back wall currently looks like um it's really nice but I'm just so bored of it that bookcase is going to be a pain in the ass to move also I always get loads of questions on this mannequin whenever I show it on um snapchat this is very dusty because it's been a while but I actually got this on ebay ages and ages ago I just knew that I wanted gold and black and this is actually just a standard necklace that I picked up in Primark I think I wore it to like a masquerade ball or something but it's not something I'd ever wear again so I just think it looks really nice on the mannequin and yeah there we go unfortunately I don't have the details of the seller um because I bought it about 10 years ago but I really like it and unfortunately all I remember is that it came from Poland but I will try and find a similar one and link it down below so that's the back wall from this angle and we've got this really weird cut out shape so what I did was I also put the same wallpaper just on this little part I just thought it made the room look a little bit nicer but that's all going to go today as well and on the rest of the walls we've just got this torpy grey shade don't ask me what these weird fairy lights are about but also we've got this really annoying window panel here and I just don't know what to do about it like I like that it lets all the light in that way because that hallway doesn't have any windows over there so it just lets a lot of light through but I just hate this pattern I just think it's so awful I did think of maybe putting some contact paper or sealing it up with a bit of wood getting rid of the frame but we don't want to spend a ton of money because we're not going to be here forever so unfortunately I may just have to leave it as it is but if you guys have any suggestions then please do let me know because I really really can't stand this I just found my very first travel journal. I guess this is like a blog, but really old school. I mean, it's only from 2013. But look, I've even like printed out photos and stuck them in. I'm officially 50 shades of brown. This is so funny. Oh, look, there's photos. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, the Dolby Theatre in LA, was it just? Yep. Wow, I kept a travel diary. Oh, what's this? Well, it's basically a blog. You, you, you was writing blogs ages ago, weren't you? But they went online. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. At the Chinese theatre. That guy. Look my favourite client. Oh my god, that was his Instagram. We met this guy in LA and he sold us loads of products, but he was so friendly and apparently, yep, he put pictures of us on Instagram. <laughs> I'm so sad. I can't believe I printed those out. Oh, what's this? Hollywood behind the scenes. Oh, I'm definitely keeping this. Oh, look, it's our tickets to Alcatraz. That was so good. Oh my God. What's this? I don't know. 
Oh, tickets to the Bellagio. Oh, that was uh, the Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> We're in LA, bitches. <laughs> was it Christmas? No, Cable I think the Coca-Cola Coca truck was driving around. Oh, yeah. Oh, we were so young. <laughs> San Fran Bridge on the way. Oh, yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge. And Alcatraz. What's this? Is it? Uh, yeah, that's the Bay of San Fran. It's funny, we must. We probably didn't have like, a colour printer. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the days. Back in the days. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. I think this goes all the way back to... Oh my gosh. This goes all the way back to 2009. Booked flights to Hong Kong and Thailand less than 48 hours ago. We were rushing around trying to do last minute packing and shopping so I only had an hour's sleep before leaving for Heathrow. The 11 hour flight to Hong Kong went really quickly as I fell asleep the minute I'd fastened my seatbelt, waking up for only meals and drinks. Oh my god, I'd actually written this like I was writing a blog. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, this was so much fun. We've got so many things. I don't think I really kept one though for Hong Kong and Thailand. So I kind of gave up. Yeah, I just wrote like one day's worth. <laughs> What a mission. It's finally done. Now we can move on to the fun part, which is getting rid of the wallpaper. Are we gonna strip or paint over? <laughs> in this trip. I think it's easier to paint over because at least yeah. the walls will be smooth. Let's move her out the way. We need a name for her. What should we call her? Nishi Quinn. Nishi Quinn. Okay, I need two hands. There we go. So we've got a mixture of like, what are these called? Painter's sheets. Yep. Um, whatever this is. <laughs> and a horrible pink cloth that I don't know where that's from. Anyway, so now that the bookcase is gone and empty, also, oh, I'm gonna slip on this, do you know that? We've got this really weird hole thing from something that was obviously there years ago, so we're trying to find a way of hiding it. We also don't know if those wires are live. It's just a bit weird, but before the bookcase used to cover that. But we just stopped to have a little break, and I think I wanna paint this whole window frame thing gold. I actually have a can of gold spray paint in the garage and I think I might do that today. I'm a little bit scared but we kind of want everything all white with little pops of gold to match my mannequin that's over there and I just think that if you can't really remove this that's probably the best way to do it. I might start off with doing this gold and then if I don't like it I'll paint over it in white which I know is just ridiculous but yeah that's what I think I'm going to start with. So I've already started but my battery died so I had to just go and get a different camera but I picked up this gold spray paint from B&Q ages ago and it was only a pound and look at what I've done so far. This is my first time ever spray painting anything. I made a little bit of a boo-boo up there. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks pretty good. The only thing is I think that by spray painting this gold I'm kind of drawing attention to something that I hate. So that may not be a great thing, but I'm gonna carry on before this all dries and finish off. Also, in case you guys are doing any DIY, never buy masking tape from the pound shop. It's so crap. It took me ages to put all this up. There we go. I'm not worried about the walls when I'm painting them anyway. Um, we've only done one coat. I'm really hoping that the paint uh, covers that wallpaper because it looks like it may not. I started doing a second coat here, but it's not actually dry. Look at Jess. What? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> it might make a hat out of the paper, isn't it? You look ridiculous. I'm not really, but it's still annoying. <laughs> we're going to stop and have some lunch now. I think we're going to have a sandwich. What do you reckon? Yep. Oh, my hand is killing me after rollering. You need so much energy to roller. Like, oh, my hand hurts so much. Um, but yeah, I think we're making really good progress. This is what I bought, duct tape. Not duct tape, sorry, frog tape. 
it was inevitable that he'd have to make a little pit stop to B&Q to pick up some of that, some more rollers. I actually found a roller in the garage that was from the pound shop. And do you know what? Don't ever buy stuff from the pound shop. Like, it was so awful. It doesn't actually roll, does it? It, like, slides up and down the yeah. wall. And it leaves a really weird mark. And the actual roller bit keeps sliding off it. It's really annoying. But we're starving. It is now quarter past three, so we're going to have some lunch, yeah? Yep. Yay! Oh man, what a day. A lot of time has passed. I'm kind of lying on the sofa in a weird position. In fact, can I turn the TV down now, Jas? It's football over. <laughs> He's not answering my question. He made me watch football. We had some unexpected guests and it was just, yeah, a little bit of an inconvenience, but the only thing that got me through it was this. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to get up to show you. This record leg. Oh, that's better. Finally, the TV's off. Yeah, so it's a passion fruit cider record leg. Record legs are my favourite cider, and this is so nice, but I've been drinking this for about two and a half hours now, I reckon. So, yeah, it's really warm, but nevertheless, it's still really nice. I think we're going to carry on with the painting. But, yeah, as you can see, we've made a little bit of progress not a lot i'm really disappointed that we haven't done more than this today though but it's now getting dark yeah it's 20 to 8 and i kind of wanted to finish this room today morning um i've woken up to such a mess we did quite a lot of painting yesterday and i think we finished at about 10 11 o'clock at night it's really early in the morning again my dad is on his way to london because he's helping us paint today um so yeah we're just gonna be painting for the rest of the day i'm aware that this is really boring vlog footage but hopefully it'll be really nice when it's all done i kind of want to finish most of it today because i don't want to spend monday also painting because that will be the whole bank holiday which is really boring but I'll show you our progress so far. So that's obviously the gold frame um, and this is the back wall. We've got some really crappy paint that we found in the garage. Um, it's not very good so it has taken us about two or three coats just to cover that wallpaper but now that it's all light we can see that we missed that part out there's a part there we need to do the edges so i just think that once that's finished we're gonna buy some good quality paint because i think it just cuts down the time that you obviously need to paint and all the rest of it but yeah it's starting to look really good there's loads of bits to still finish i won't show you the other side of the room because it's a complete tip actually do you know what the other thing with this flat is um Every bit of furniture that we have is positioned in a way that it kind of hides something. <laughs> um, it's just like we haven't had the walls like plastered, I think. So they're not perfect. And that really annoys me. I just hate walls with little bobbly bits. We're obviously not going to do that because there's no point. And I think it's really expensive. So when we first moved in, there's this really weird hole in the wall. I'll show you. <laughs> just there. Because on the other side of that wall is like a storage cupboard thing in the kitchen and i think that's a vent so there's a vent up there used to be a vent up there and there's also one behind the sideboard just here and that's why these bits of furniture are permanently here so we used to have a canvas up there which i'm really bored of because it was a picture of us and i think that's a little bit self-obsessed um and it also wouldn't really go in the room anymore so i'm not sure how we're going to cover that i completely forgot i had two ikea candles up there they've obviously been there for about 10 years or more so they look awful and I also got rid of the vent which is why there's a weird border around it and I think I put like a piece of wood with my old wallpaper in at the back but I don't know what to do with that because that's really really annoying there's also another one at the bottom behind this unit which is why this unit hides it perfectly and I don't think we could ever move it <laughs> also about to have my second coffee of the day um, I don't even think it's quite 10 a.m. yet I think I need two strong coffees before I start DIYing today um, yeah, because there's just so much to do. That's much too smoother, yeah. I want to have a go. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday today. I'm trying to shout over the radio because I don't know where it is and I can't turn it down. As you can see, there's loads of mess behind me. I'm just trying to open up the windows. There's still a few little bits that need touching up in the living room. It is mostly done though and it's looking really good. Yesterday, I didn't really vlog after about 
lunchtime onwards because I left my camera on this bookcase and then we pushed all the furniture to this side of the room. It's still mostly here and I just couldn't get to it. Let me show you. So my camera was here. This is our dining table, our sideboard, our sofas, all our stuff, the TV and we're painting that wall. So I didn't want to push this sofa too far back yesterday because um, the skirting boards are still wet. So I've just managed to make a little walkway, got my camera and I thought I'd show you our progress. There's Jas in the corner. Hi Jas. Hello, this room looks so good now. I cannot explain how nice it feels to have an all white room. I'm not sure if I showed you, but we used to have a hole just up there where that shiny little square is. My dad managed to find two little bits of wood and just sort of stick it in and seal it up so it looks really good now. We've just painted it with wood paint because the regular paint wouldn't stick to it. And then we're going to go over it with matte paint to just match it all up. This is the window frame thing that I spray painted. I'm really pleased with the way that it looks. Still haven't taken that newspaper off because I can't really get there but I will eventually and we've polyfilled that little hole up which needs painting and I'm just about to paint the window on the other side so I'll show you. So this is my hallway and um, this is obviously the same wallpaper that we have here we only have it on one of the walls I'm not going to swing the camera around because all the bedroom doors are open and everything is just a tip. This wallpaper just has to go so I thought before we take it off I'll just mask and tape up the inside of the window. This time I've used frog tape which which Jas bought from b and It is so much better than masking tape. It really, really holds and it's just so much easier to work with. So yeah, I thought I would spray paint this gold and I'm not gonna worry about it obviously going out onto the edges because we're removing this wallpaper eventually anyway. Oh my god, look at the state of me. I left the house for the first time in about four, maybe five days. It's been ages. And I'm in my sister's car. She had a flat tire. So we went to go and fill up the tire pressure. And then we found that it wasn't that. She's just got a puncture. So we rang around loads of places and we finally found somewhere that was open on bank holiday Monday. Um, and we had to get her a new tire fitted. Then we went to Nando's. I had my camera with me the whole time. I just completely forgot that I was vlogging. Went to Nando's and then went to Aldi to go and do some food shopping and we bought so many mm. homeware bits, didn't we, Jess? Yep. I like the beanbag. Yes, yeah, so we bought a beanbag and we bought some shelving and we also bought... Oh, a pineapple. It was so nice. It was the last gold and white one. I'm going to go home. Our house is a tip, isn't it, Jess? Yep. Are you looking forward oh, to going ready. home and tidying? No. What a week. It's now Thursday, the day that this video is going to go live. I've been sat here putting the finishing touches and I suddenly remembered that I didn't end my vlog. I was kind of waiting for a few days because I wanted to finish putting this living room together but now I realise that's a pretty long job and it's going to take a little while because we haven't really bought anything new and we sort of need to find homes for things that we no longer want in here and homes for things that we do want in here and stuff like that. So I thought that I'd just show you our progress so far. It's starting to look really good and I'm really pleased about that. So let me just get up, swivel this camera around and show you. So I'm going to start off with the back wall first. That dining table is currently my makeshift office so just ignore all of that mess and yes that's my office chair. I do have the rest of these chairs but they're all in different rooms at the moment and um, I've just been editing there. That's my mannequin, that's the gold frame, this is all stuff for charity. There's so many books in here, loads of books in there, in this bag. I'm finally getting rid of this Audrey Hepburn print which I really really like but it's slightly damaged. I had a cup of coffee that kind of went flying and my ring Light broke but the mug survived and this canvas unfortunately didn't so there's a few little coffee stains on there I tried to wipe it but I think I've just made it worse and I've just noticed a little bit of paint this armchair needs to be sold but we've just been really lazy about listing that this is the dining table so I had two of these shelves from Ikea in the bedroom I've just filled the bottom two compartments with some books the books up there I don't actually think they're mine I think they're a combination of my sisters and my aunts so I'm just gonna keep them for a little while um, in case they want them back some pictures some candles I've got some photo frames up there that I've got some photos in but not really keen on those so I'm not too sure what to do with that. Then on this side I've got another one of these shelving units Um, I must admit I don't love having two of the same unit in here but I kind of don't want to buy anything new because like I said we're not going to be here forever. This is the pineapple that I picked up from Aldi. It was only £3. It's actually a storage jar Um, I absolutely love this. There's a little fake plant, this marble jewellery box that I don't really use for anything I just really like that there because it adds 
adds like a different color that's not white a marble candle some more candles again i also have this little charger plate full of perfumes in the bedroom i've moved that in here and i've just got a few books down there and this little gold buddha that jess has and i also don't know what to do with my filofax it's got a lot of memories in it because actually that was around the time that i was planning my wedding so i've just kind of kept it but i don't know we shall see this stuff probably won't stay like this forever but i've just kept it here for now next to this i've got this candle stand thing this is actually for gardens i'm not so sure that i love it but again i've just put it here for now this is a plant that somehow i've managed to keep alive for a year not too sure how that happened and um, we've got some throws in there this is just a little basket slash table thing from ikea and that plant pot was from home sense or tk maxx this is the sofa situation this is the bean bag that we bought from aldi i think i'm going to keep it but we need to get a new rug for the living room we used to have a teal one that was so old and awful we got rid of that and i know exactly which rug i want to buy it's a black and white stripy one from ikea we just bought it because i know that in aldi if you don't buy things when you see them you may miss out on them so i want to wait until i get my rug um just to see if it clashes too much because again that one's going to be black and white so i don't obviously want it to clash um and then i'll decide if i keep it or not we want to get rid of that teal lamp but we're not going to buy a lamp anytime soon so unfortunately that's just going to have to do i've still kept this canvas here but again i'm not too sure how long it will be here for if that makes sense but it was one of the first canvases i ever bought and i really like it so i'm going to keep it here for a little while um i just wish there was maybe a bit of gold in there instead of silver but we can't have everything <laughs> and moving around to this side there's my tv unit my tv um some coffee tables that i think we got from made.com like a million years ago and then on this side is my sideboard and this is a little stool that i picked up from tk max or home sense again i think that's actually meant to be like a vanity stool but i've just kept it here because i think it's just nice to have like a little bit of additional seating if ever you need it and i just think it goes really well with the color scheme black white and gold and yeah nothing much has changed on this side i no longer want this print here i just put a postcard in it for the time being because i didn't really have a photo so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that but because it's rose gold it no longer matches the decor this is a little dish from m&s some little marble coasters from tk max this lamp that we bought about 10 years ago from Laura Ashley which actually just chose and I absolutely love it but there we go that's a little living room tour for you I really hope you enjoyed it this room is still a work in progress there's still quite a lot to do but I really hope you enjoyed watching this week's vlog and it wasn't too boring also one more thing look what just arrived in the post I literally got the post about 10 minutes ago this is so nice and super unexpected my friend Parry sent me a birthday card it says let me read it out Nishi may the wings of your eyeliner always be even i love this card so much it's so nice i don't even know how she knows it's my birthday tomorrow that's so nice of her though really unexpected speaking of birthdays i have a very special birthday style video that i'm hoping to film tomorrow that should be up on sunday with any luck um unless jas has planned something this weekend that i don't know about but anyway i really hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you on sunday hopefully bye